Welcome back to our weekly scripture reading. I hope we're reading from God's Word. Bless you. Today we're going to continue reading the Revelation to the Apostle John. I pray we learn much from the Lord through these readings. So pull out your Bible, turn to Revelation 4. Let's read a chapter of God's Word together. After these things I looked, and behold, a door standing open in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was like the trumpet speaking with me, saying, Come up here. And I will show you things which, I must, which must take place after this. Immediately I was in the Spirit, and behold, the throne set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. He who sat there was like a jasper and a sardis stone in appearance. And there was a rainbow around the throne, in appearance like an emerald. Around the throne were twenty-four thrones, and on the thrones I saw twenty-four elders sitting clothed in white robes, and they had crowns of gold on their heads. And from the throne proceeded lightnings, thunderings, and voices. Seven lamps of fire were burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. Before the throne there was a sea of glass like crystal. And in the midst of the throne and around the throne were four living creatures, full of eyes in front and in back. The first living creature was like a lion, the second living creature like a calf, the third living creature had the face of a man, and the fourth living creature was like a flying eagle. The four living creatures, each having six wings, were full of eyes around and within, and they do not rest day or night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to him who sits on the throne, who lives forever and ever, the twenty-four elders fall down before him who sits on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever, and cast their crowns before the throne, saying, You are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, and by your will they exist and were created. I pray the Lord has blessed you today from this chapter. If you have a question, a prayer request, or to receive these readings and daily devotions directly, please feel free to email me at shinethelightforhim at mail.com. Tomorrow, we reach a milestone here on the Daily Minute. Tomorrow's devotion will be our 500th Daily Minute, where we will continue our study of this armor of God in Ephesians. Hope you join us. Thank you, and may God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.